It was a rainy day when I arrived to Wakayama. The trees already started to turn red and yellow, and everything looked very mystical and magical. My tour guide Kanae was waiting for me with a packed schedule. The adventure started right away. We first stopped by Koyasan, where we went to a restaurant called Kadohama. There, we tried the most delicious tofu in the world, goma tofu, sesame tofu. I have never eaten anything as delicious as this. So this is the mandala meal. A regular tofu texture, almost like ice creamy, you yeah. know? Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Every single little plate has its own special taste, even though they're all using the same ingredient. How was it? That's good. That's Delicious, nice. right? <laughs> Kuma tofu is a local food in Wakayama. And then it, even though it's called tofu, it's not made from soybeans, but it's made from sesame. And then goma tofu uh, plays a really important role in uh, shojin ryori, which is Buddhist cuisine in Koyasan. In the past, making sesame tofu was part of a Buddhist training, as it is quite a time-consuming and challenging activity. It remains a popular treat among the locals as well as visitors, and people are willing to line up in front of the store just to get a taste of sesame tofu at Kadohama. After lunch, it was time to explore the temple grounds. We were joined by a cool monk, Nakamura-san, who is a big fan of photography and Violet Evergarden anime. He guided us through the temple complex and explained its history. Koyasan is a spiritual center where Shingon Buddhism was started by Kobodaishi in the year 805. It is a secluded temple town, very suitable for a nature escape. うん、あの、ちょっと本当あの、ね、朝日がこう差した時にちょっと泣いちゃうくらいあの、感動的です。夜の動物から朝の鳥にこう声がかわっていくと。自然っていうものがね、すごく綺麗です。え、それですから、あ
Walking around Koyasan in the morning, I remembered Nakamura-san's words, and I understood why he likes the mornings in Koyasan so much. I look forward to coming back. <laughs>